Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Today, I have a very quirky old uh, wah pedal from Akai. Uh, yes, Akai did actually make uh, guitar pedals. There's actually quite a few of them out there if you go searching for them. A lot of these are from the sort of 90s and 80s. Um, they're pretty cool. This is the very wah W1, and it's actually three different types of wah pedal. So this is all about... Um, Flexibility, I think it's pretty massive. You can see the nobles beside it there. On oh, the pedal board, it's a pretty massive pedal. It's much bigger than your average wah pedal, but it does so much more than a normal wah pedal. So I'm gonna go through it for you today. It is all about this knob. So pretty much straight away, it is a, a auto wah, which just cycles around wiring for you automatically. And then it's a touch sensitive wire, like a touch wire. So the harder you pick, the more wire you get. And then of course, it's also just a stock standard normal wah pedal. Well, I'm gonna go through all the different modes for you now. Tell you a lot. I always forget to tell you I'm using the Laney Cub Super 12 behind me there. Laney have been great supporters of our channel, so uh, I always forget to mention it, and they've been such so good to us. So, uh, so I just gotta chip in here and tell you really quickly, thank you to Laney. All right, back to the video. <laughs> So this first mode is on auto wah. It'll just cycle through the wah for you. Then there is also the ability to have it more wary. Then, with this knob set to width, this is the knob that controls the foot switch. So, you can have the, so that the width is sort of, you know, not there at all. Or you can bring it in with the foot wire. Can imagine what the comments section is going to be like here about 70s adult music, but uh, so when you've got the knob set to width, uh, this becomes your minimum amount. So if you've got it down at minimum, the minimum is minimum. If you turn it up halfway, then the minimum amount will be halfway. And then up full is up full. Is up full. Now you can also set it to adjust the speed. Again, the setting on the speed knob is the minimum amount. Right, uh, the next one is the offset. Now the offset, I, I don't know if it's sure if it's my ears or if it's the pedal because it's so old it might not be working properly. The 
offset to me sounds like it's adding more uh, frequencies to the depth of the wah. So if I've got it. If I turn it down, it sounds like it goes up to the higher frequencies in the wah. It's definitely more trebly turned up. So I'm not sure if it's widening the frequency band or extending the range of the frequency band of the wah. I'm not sure. You guys tell me if you know. I tried to read it in the manual. It didn't really give me a good explanation. Right. Now, if you turn the knob all the way over here to pedal wah, none of the knobs do anything. It just becomes a normal everyday wah pedal. And it's actually a really nice sounding wah. Now, the last setting, which is my favorite setting, if you turn the width and the speed down and put the knob onto sense, which is for sensitivity, it becomes an, a uh, touch wah. Which means every time you pluck a note, it will give you the wah effect from the bottom to the top and then back down again. So the beauty of a touch wire is that you, the expression is all up to you. If you hit the notes pretty softly, you won't get much wide or just stay down pretty low. And then the louder you hit the note, the uh, more of the higher frequencies you get, the more wahs, you know. Help if I didn't muck around with the offset knob. Now you gotta have the speed and the depth off. Because they will still affect it unless they are completely turned off. The auto wire will still keep trying to do its thing. It's by far my favourite wire effect, the touch wire. Anyway, there you go. There is the very uh, W1 from Akai. This is actually labeled as Akai Professional. I'm not sure what the difference is, if it's a slightly different arm of Akai or a different R&D mob or something like that, but it is an Akai product. Um, it's really awesome. It just runs on typical, normal nine volts, so you don't need any fancy power supply for it. It looks really retro and cool because it is, I don't think it came out until the 90s uh, from memory. It's hard to find information on these things. Uh, it has three different modes, 
Uh, it's a great sounding wah, and you can even adjust how much wiriness is want, and you can adjust the frequency of the wahs that you want. So um, it's a really flexible, super, and really groovy looking little uh, wah pedal box. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. For those of you that like weird old uh, pedals like me, uh, leave a comment if you've got one. Let me know if I've missed any tricks, or let me know how you set yours. That's always really awesome when you guys let me know what you do with yours. Uh, we really appreciate your input. So. Um, Thank you for getting this far. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.